morning. We're hooking up to some anhydrous tanks. Dad and Jared putting on anhydrous. Uh, we've had a breakdown when we were combining corn, so we're out for a day with that. So we're gonna switch over and do some anhydrous. We're about 200 acres away from being done with corn and then we're done with combine this year. Then we are gonna be putting on a lot of anhydrous. Here's Lingus. He's with me today. We're gonna go move some um, anhydrous tanks around. I'm backing up to them right now. And uh, put them in some places that we're gonna put some anhydrous on today and then we're gonna go disc. We'll see if we're close. Think we're gonna be close? Um, oh, close, but not close enough. I think we go. I think we can do it like this. Right there. There. Or, or if we can push this. Hey, oh, yeah. that's kind of cool. We'll see how close it is. I think I can lift it up, put it on there. She's full. Oh, and make it look cool. So these are my least favorite tanks. These are the poopy tanks. All the rest of the tanks have already been taken to the field. Uh, we can only pull one of these at a time because this, this is a lot of weight right here. But uh, yeah, these tanks, you can only go about 18 miles an hour down the road. So that's why I don't like them. And uh, they're just not in the best shape. Or the running gear. The tanks are fine. The running gear's the poopy part. So we're gonna have to pull this pin. So Lane is experiencing um, what the non-high speed um, running gear does with anhydrous tanks and how you can only go a certain amount of miles per hour. Right now I can go up to maybe 14 mile an hour. 16. 16s might be pushing it because uh, we had these loaded uh, for the past like four months so they got some flat spots in the tire so it's a little rough. I'd say 18 to 20, 25 empty. 18 when full whenever these are actually um ready to rock and roll but uh yeah they're pretty slow these are my least favorite tanks every other tank we can go at least 25 to 30 no problems these these are just they're not meant for that so these are other two types of tanks we've got we've got four of those we only got one of the high speed ones those will go 35 uh, to 40 empty and they'll go about 25 full which is really nice I love those those are my favorite tanks those are big that's a big single uh, 1500 and these are double um, for a uh, thousand and we still haven't taken off the stickers but these are all our tanks we have our own anhydrous little plant and things but yeah these are my least favorite these little black ones these black tanks right here, these are two big a thousands, but they are a pain to pull around. Whereas that, that's a high speed one. So that's what your MFA, all those type of companies, they mainly just have those now. But yeah, we still have taken off the stickers. Uh, I don't know if this one has any. Yeah, this one doesn't, but it is numbered. That's pretty neat. We bought these off of, this one came from a farm. That one, I really don't think it came from a farm, but the, those, that tall one over there came from a farm too, so, yep. So, Jared's already put on anhydrous up here in front of Great Grandma's house with the little um, black bar, which is a, like a 15 shank anhydrous bar with the 9482. Um, we're hooking it up, big Canada, back up to the big blue bar. Um, it's uh, 17 shank i think maybe the other one's like a 13 but this one's a 17 no this one's a 19 and the other one's a 15 yeah i got my numbers right now but yeah we're hooking it up here at the moment so there's some of the wheat we got planted so that's nice it's got some other bar hooked up but lane's becoming a professional i think he's almost got it we'll go check on him 
Yep, he's a professional. Not quite. Not quite. You did pretty good, though. Yeah, you did all yourself. Good job. This tank isn't quite as bad. I mean, it's still a little rough, but 18 mile an hour, it's not too bad. It's getting a little bad right here because I hit a few bumps, but it was pulling 18 before. I've picked up a passenger, my cousin Kirsten, which is Lane's older sister. Me. And we are working in some flooded beans at the moment. And we're in the disc. We're in the 9020. But yeah, worked up, working up pretty nice, nice and smooth. So it shouldn't take us very long to get this done. Oh, look at that stick. So yeah, got flooded out here. We'll work them in, and then we'll be ready to plant next year. Yep. Fun stuff. When are you two gonna replace me? So I don't have to do this. Oh, it won't let me zoom in right now. What? It won't let me zoom, look. Why? I don't know. It's weird. Broke it. And he's on the floor. So I got one on the floor, one in the buddy seat, and they got to switch every once in a while. But yeah, working in the flooded beans. It's not that much flooded beans. We came in here, and we were just mixing it, getting a little bit of flooded beans, and getting some clean beans, just back and forth. This stuff is just so flat on the ground and uh, really wasn't worth combining. So I'm disking it up here so it'll be ready to rock and roll. What do you think? Nothing. What'd you ask, Lane? Uh, is there a Netflix sign? Um, that's not a Netflix sign. That is a uh, neutral sign. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Folding up. There's a little bit of grass spot that I worked right there. Other than that, we're all done here. Nice and slow. So we're back at the main farm and we're pulling the big singles. This is the empty one. Going to go pick up another empty one up there on that hill over there. But uh, yeah, they pull a lot nicer, these big singles, than those um, doubles, those black doubles. So, those are really bumpy. These are really nice and smooth. Well, back on the road. We got our train. We got two big singles. And yes, they are a lot smoother than those other ones. I can probably go 30. All right, 35. No problems. Nice and smooth. Yeah. Doing pretty good. And we're back. I'm just gonna unhook them here so that Dad and Jared can fill them up sometime. Uh, got a lot of tile for building terraces, and then we got uh, the the cat here, the seven E D seven E. Hopefully, I can line these up good. So, but yeah, no good. Well, back in the tractor cab, we're in the bottom working some corn stalks. I can shift up. Um, yeah. Everything's going pretty smoothly. We moved all the empty tanks home. Uh, Grandma helped me move out here. And we got rid of Kirsten. Yay! <laughs> so, Lane's happy. But yeah, we're working the corn stalks in the bottom. Because of the high residue. And uh, it's going pretty smoothly. Happy with that. <laughs> yeah. Well... Now I'll get back to it. And we're still going. Back and forth. Found another nice bottom piece to run in. Langus is still holding in strong. Barely. I got a surprise for him in a second. What is it? You're gonna figure it out. Huh? It'll be a, it's a big surprise. The last surprise I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, the last surprise was um, that I was going to go across the road and do another um, spot, which is the spot we're in now. That was his first surprise. But this next one, he's actually going to be happy about. Well, me and Lane are about to finish up for the night. Almost done. Just doing a few spots around the endros. Cleaning it up. What was the surprise I gave you? Uh, I don't know. 
You don't know? No, I don't. Are you sure you don't know? Yeah, I'm sure I don't. You know. really don't know? I really don't know. I, re I, I gave you my phone? Yeah, yeah. And you play Farming Simulator? Yeah. Yeah. That was my surprise. I guess I'm not good at surprises. You good at surprises. I good? Yes. Oh, well, that's good. But yeah, we're about done. The first surprise wasn't the best. Yeah, that we were still gonna do more disking. But we're done now, so hooray. I think that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and I will see you guys in the next one.